Hey everyone, it's Chachi Power here with Collection DX to do a review of the Metacom Toy Mafex number 006 Darth Vader action figure. We're taking a look at the box here. As you can see, it's a clear window design that allows you to see all the little contents here. And on the back here, you have some pictures of the actual figure. Right here, we have Anakin Skywalker without his entire helmet, and this is just without the top cover. The figure itself comes in a clamshell tray, which I'm going to open right now so we can check out all the little tiny bits in here. We of course have Vader himself, which I'm just going to prop in the back while we check everything else out. We have uh, an assortment of hands here. We also have the Anakin head as I showed you in the box. We'll take a look at the head up close here. You can see it's a very nice sculpt, a very nice detailing. It's got all the scarring on the top of his head. And here's the lightsaber itself and the blade. And the blade is actually keyed so you can only put it one way, which uh, I'm not sure what that's for since the blade is completely round but it is that way. So here's a completed lightsaber which we'll check out in just a moment. And Vader also has this included stand which is a little difficult to see with the background which I guess is a good thing because I'm not really a big fan of stands. I think they're a little bit distracting to put on action figures. I just prefer action figures to stand up and as you can see Darth Vader does a very good job of standing up on his own. So we're going to take a look at this guy here. Uh, first thing that I notice is this beautiful, beautiful cape. I know a lot of people aren't into soft goods. Uh, well, some people, not all people. Uh, I'm one of those people that love soft goods for the fact that it just looks nice. I mean, you can move it around. If it's a PVC cape, uh, it's kind of annoying because it's just in one spot. Uh, but I like this, and I like the fact that they put a wire here. So you can actually do, uh, you know, the little waving in the wind kind of poses, which, you know, if you're going to do soft goods and you want them to look good, you need to put a wire or something that allows you to adjust it just so it gives it that dramatic feel. So uh, this definitely uh, hits that button for me. And the figure itself, I, I, bigger than I thought. Um, I'm used to the SH Figure Arts Darth Vader, which is a little teeny compared to this, which I'll be showing you in just a moment. Uh, and in comparison. Now if we go underneath the cape here we see that we do have PVC pieces. These don't bother me as much. I just don't, I wouldn't want the cape to be PVC but if these are going to be PVC that's fine with me as long as the outside looks cool. Um, but it's a nice soft PVC which gets out of the way. The figure feels fantastic. I like that there's uh, you know the shiny bits, there's less shiny bits just to give it a bit of contrast paint apps are excellently done. Speaking of paint apps, let's just zoom in really quick to see the details. You can see everything is uh, neatly painted. Uh, that little red thing is a little off, but you know, it's so damn tiny, uh, I can forgive it. And then here's the other electronics on his belt on this side. And I'm, I'm really digging the uh, helmet. Uh, there's a lot of Darth Vader's that I look at and I'm just like, eh, I'm not really into that. Uh, but this one looks really good. It looks proportioned, at least to my eyes. I mean, I'm not comparing to a TV right now, but from what I envision Darth Vader to be, uh, this looks really good. Now, as far as articulation, he does have his head on a ball joint here on the neck. Uh, he's got the upper chest right here that moves around. And he's also got the ab crunch, which is good, and also a waist, which moves uh, around. Uh, it's a little tight, so it's probably because a lot of the PVC is rubbing together, but if you wanted to spin them around, you possibly could. We also have these little shoulder flaps. They're not hinged, but they are on a soft PVC, which allows you to bring the arm up a pretty fair amount, also forward and back. He's also got this movement here, which I believe is called the butterfly joint here, which allows the shoulder back and forth. You'll see this little part here also moves just to give it just a tad more articulation by pushing that out of the way. You also get the bicep swivel. We do have a double jointed elbow. And we have the hand here, which looks like it's on a ball joint, but it's sort of like a teeny swivel ball. It's like the two ball halves together um, with a little ball joint at the end for the hand itself. If we move down to the hips, like I said before, this PVC part moves out of the way very well. Uh, allows the movement forward here by this crotch plate moving. You also have a thigh swivel, also double jointed knees. We move down to the feet here, we'll see the foot is on a hinge very slight side to side movement this way and also the toe itself now like most high-end action figures this does come with an array of hands so he's got a pair of each which we'll just check out in just a moment so you can see here there's actually one two three he's got four pairs of hands and he's also got this one where his hand gets chopped off so let's check out uh, these hands see what they look like on him so here he has the pointing hand here's like uh, using the force type of hand Here's a fisted hand. Here's a lightsaber holding hand. Now that I have this off, you can see the little 
thing here that the hand's attached to, it's really tiny, so you want to be careful. But to use the chopped off hand, we're going to remove the wrist. I had to do that off camera because I, I was swearing because it was very <laughs> difficult to take off. So we're going to put this on. Hopefully it's not as difficult. All right, there we go. That's what he looks like with his hand chopped off. And we got up close to the chopped off hand because I do appreciate the detail that's worked into that. You can see all those little wires and metal bones or whatever it is that's in there. Uh, it's a really nice thing that they did. Not like most young fans as a kid when they took this guy's helmet off. I was freaked out. I was totally expecting something else. Uh, and I know they updated it for the uh, new older movies, the previous or whatever prequels. Um, but here is the head that it comes with. We are going to remove this, which I wanted to show you anyway. A uh, little cap there, so you can see the internals of his helmet and the back of his head, sort of like when he's sitting in that chamber and the little helmet comes down and then he turns around, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, so that's that. We don't actually take this piece off. We just remove the head entirely. If we can just get that to pop out. All right, it's just a square peg. And you just put the new head back in or this head, uh, you want to be careful because there's these little antenna things that fit right over his mouth, his little speakers or microphones, whatever the hell they are, you don't want to just shove this head on top because you crush them. So you want to put the chin in there first and sort of work the head in. And there you are. Now, I'd be ashamed not to get up close to check out the scarring, but there it is. It actually looks uh, pretty real. Uh, looks like it really got burned there. It's all shiny. Look at the eyes, they're not crooked, they're pretty much just looking up. And these little things right here by his mouth fit over very nicely uh, for being little pieces of PVC. We'll see the ear sculpting here, very nice. And if we turn it around, we see all the scarring on his head. Look at that. That's done really, really well. And of course, last but not least, we're going to check out the lightsaber here. You can see the sculpting is very nice, also the little paint job there on the little button, uh, done very nicely. Again, the blade is removable and it's keyed to go in one way. All right. Now when it's in there, it's kind of crooked. You'll see it kind of points down this way. I'm, I'm sure, you know, putting this in hot water or a hair dryer or something will soften it up to be able to straighten it out. But the blade itself is actually straight. As I spin it around, you can see the blade is actually straight. Just going in, it's a little crooked. All right, so I've attached the uh, lightsaber hand. We're going to go ahead and put the lightsaber right in there. And now we have the full Darth Vader look right here. It looks so awesome. Now I'm absolutely in love with the new line of Star Wars figures, all the black series, the SH figure arts. So I'm going to show you the SH figure arts Darth Vader, which you can see is teeny in comparison. Looks like his little baby sister dressed up just like him. Look at that. Big difference. I will say the SH figure arts feels heavy and, and that's mostly due to the PVC cape which again is something I, I really couldn't stand about the SH figure arts. I almost feel like making a custom cape. The figure itself is absolutely awesome. It comes with the lightsaber uh, which is actually bigger and longer I should say than the uh, Mafex one. But it's got this cape that just throws to one side on mine. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or, or centered. Who knows? But uh, that's the downfall, I think, of that figure. Otherwise, it's a beautiful, you know, uh, sculpt. Even though it's a little more stylistic compared to this, which really does look like a guy in a costume. So for now, I, I it's it's hard for me to say this, but I, I think I do prefer the Mafex one, and it's a lot cheaper at the moment. So we'll just move this guy out of the way and do some more comparisons. I'm gonna have to do a uh, Black Series Stormtrooper comparison because I don't have the Mafex one. I'm waiting on that one. Uh, but here he is with a Hasbro Black Series, and uh, let's make sure it's just a regular, yeah, it's the regular Stormtrooper. And this is uh, the Han Solo and Luke Skywalker Stormtroopers. Here he is with the First Order Snow Trooper and the First Order Stormtrooper. One of my favorite Stormtroopers, the Bandai Model Kit. Here he is with the beautiful SH Figure Art Stormtrooper. The Disney Elite Diecast Series First Order Stormtrooper and Flame Trooper. The recently released Disney Elite Series Diecast Stormtrooper. And the monstrously tall Elite Series Diecast Captain Phasma. And last but not least, with his young son from the SH Figure Arts line, Luke Skywalker. Alright, so that's going to bring us to the end. Make sure you check out the written review on CollectionDX.com and all the other great stuff that they have posted up there. If you have any questions and comments, leave them below. We'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Until next time, bye-bye.